national installations and they say that they are there to ensure that this, this pressure group does not come there to cause any mayhem. Already we are told that they are they started moving from the Obras spot. Our reporter, Komla Kweke, uh, has been monitoring activities there and uh, has joined us on the line to give us an update of what has transpired so far. Komla, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Hello, Komla. Hello, Komla Kluche. All right, I would, would uh, hope to get a better, a better connection with Komla Kluche, and then when we raise him on the line, we'll let you uh, have an idea or a mental picture of what is happening so far. And uh, Komla, I'm told you join us. Good afternoon, if you can hear me. Hello, Patrick. Good afternoon. Y Good. Um, what can you tell us about the picketing or the decision by the pressure group to go ahead despite the police decision to place an injunction on them? Have they moved from the brass spot? Uh, sorry, the line is breaking, but if you are asking for uh, um, an update, so to speak, I can tell you that much anticipated uh, picketing of the Let My Vote Count uh, group to present a petition to the Electoral Commission kick-started a while ago, just about, just around 11.30, uh, when, when, when uh, the process was actually supposed to have started uh, somewhere around 7 a.m. But I can tell you the matter, there is disagreement over the final convergence point uh, between the group and the police. Now they are currently at the Prasa police station. They had wanted to use the route uh, between uh, the some office towards the EC, but uh, the police have mounted a blockade over there indicating that no, that was not the agreement. We had gone to court to secure an order that right. irrespective of everything, you can go through the all right, but then just a few people, their rep or their leaders can can walk and go to the electoral commission. We expect that they secure a court order, but a group is, is, is indicating that they would defy the court order and, and, and go ahead and uh, go to the EC in the numbers that are here. Talking about the numbers, uh, I can't count, but four of them uh, are here, and, uh, certainly more than about a hundred or so that are about it. Their leaders uh, from Gabi or Sidako, to Stephen Inkin, to Peter Maslini, to uh, Chairman Wujimi, and, and a couple of them are here. But that is the conclusion all they have to do with where their final convergence point will be. They want to go to the EC in their numbers and then present the petition. Martin. Yes, Kamala, if you can hear me, do you have police presence around these demonstrators? Security presence, Martin, I, I can say is heavily visible with, with uh, the armored vehicles and uh, uh, the tear gas. In terms of professional marching, a lot of them are dotted around us. Irrespective of that, uh, the group have also uh, gotten their own people who are, so to speak, private security uh, guys who are leading the group. So I can say for sure that in terms of the police visibility on the ground, there's quite a good number of them. Apart from that, uh, nothing else um, has been reported in terms of any sexuality or anything apart from the disagreement that is ensured between uh, the leaders or the group and the police matter. All right, Kamala, what were the proposed uh, places of, or what, wh which areas were the proposed areas they intended stopping or ending the march? Hello, Kamala. Hello, Martin. Yes, I am asking that which areas did they propose as the places to end oh, the march? Yes, what, what, what the route is going to be, like uh, police's direction, is that they're going to go through the uh, uh, of Adabraka all the way to um, the Kankamansu area, to the Rollins Park, and then they head off onto the high street. Then uh, they gather at the half part where they would address the media, and, and then uh, uh, their leaders would move to the electoral commission. That is the arrangement that it stands now. But the leaders of the group are saying that that is not actually what they had agreed on. They don't agree to it. 
and that they, they, they would want to go by the old arrangements of which the police have gone to court. But hey, you can see how determined these people are to defy the court order and every other thing to ensure that they pick it at the EC uh, headquarters. We can also pick up uh, thoughts that there's had this situation present at the EC office as well that uh, the uh, riot control vehicle is there as well as uh, heavily armed police uh, men over there as well. Martin. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Kamala Kluche, uh, tv Three's reporter following the Let My Vote Count Alliance. Now, they intend picketing or at least presenting a petition to the chairman of the Electoral Commission and then also uh, some members of parliament. We are told that the likes of Gabi Atre Dakon, Chairman Wun Kine, Peter Masmene, who are all leading members of the opposition new patriotic party, are also present. Adding the Let My Vote Count Alliance, they, are, they decided to picket at a number of national installations and the police secured an injunction. We are told that they were underway or the demonstration was underway, but some disturbances have occurred as we speak. Our reporter, Komla Kluche, uh, has joined us online again with an update. Komla, good afternoon once again. We are told that tear gases have been thrown by the police service. Can you confirm this? And what Martin, left Martin, Martin, tear gas upon tear gas, water cannons, spraying hot water, uh, just to disperse the crowd. Already we had indicated or we had reported that the crowd had defied the court order used uh, they are the session towards the uh, cathedral to head towards the EC. Now the police had already mounted blockade at the traffic light. So when the crowd got there, uh, they were not supposed to have used that uh, route to the EC already. That's a court order. So they were supposed to have gone to a car towards uh, the rolling spot to the outside. But like we did indicate early on, Martin, after they defied the heading towards uh, the EC office, and you know, the, the lane between the cathedral and the EC office is just about two minutes or so walk, and the police uh, fired tear gas, water cannon, just to disperse the crowd. Martin, it, it, was, it was a very, very chaotic scene. I've had to hide somewhere just to try and get uh, cover, and then I'll be able to report it as fast. Martin, I don't even know where the cameraman is now. Okay, Kamala, as, as we speak, what is the situation? Do you still have some members of the crowd around, or they've all dispersed? Martin, okay, I've just come outside now. The crowd is, is, is uh, gone back now. They have, they've gone very far, and uh, 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 the police have taken charge of the place. Uh, I've just seen that some people, one man has just been arrested by two uh, police officers. Okay, another one has also been arrested. So cause of arrest all over the place. Uh, but a crowd has receded back towards the Adabraka main road over there. So it, 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 it's quite a chaotic scene, but it's been brought under control. Okay, I have just seen reinforcement from the police now. Scores of uh, police officers have just arrived in a new plan bath uh, to beef up the security. Martin. All right, uh, thank you very much, Komla Kluche, TV3's reporter, and there will be regular updates of this in our subsequent bulletin.